I'm here with Patty Kinley, and Patty is the author of a book called Perfectly Paired, and this is a really interesting way to combine polymer clay and metal clay. And I love this pairing. What mm -hmm. a great concept. Thank you. You're yes. welcome. And all the samples here that you brought are using that same idea mm -hmm. of mixing polymer clay with the silver clay. That's right. Well, show us how to get started. Okay. First of all, polymer clay can be used to make the textures for um, your metal clay. Mm -hmm. So I'm using a bendable formula of mm -hmm. polymer clay. Mm -hmm. And if you are comfortable drawing, you can use a, a stylus tool mm -hmm. and draw some lines mm -hmm. and patterns and just doodle making so your pattern. If you're not comfortable drawing, you can use um, just anything, plastic cards, mm -hmm. um, tools from your from your table this is just a little piece of tubing so you're making a to mold make some, here that you're going to use that's, the silver that's clay. correct and because you're drawing the mold it's going to be more unique than if you went and bought a rubber stamp sure which you could also do if you that's, wanted to do that's something right quick. that's right if mm -hmm. you have a favorite stamp uh, mm -hmm. or, or an image that you want specifically mm -hmm. uh, but you can draw your own and bring in your own style and personality. Mm -hmm. So for this piece we're using, I just want to be clear about the different kinds of polymer clay that you're using. So mm -hmm. this one is the bendable. This type. is the bendable mm -hmm. clay and it it is most the most bendable formula of polymer clay. Mm -hmm. And I make um, all of my molds and you, the molds can be used against metal clay mm -hmm. and they can be used against the polymer clay. So they are very versatile once you've made your own patterns. Uh -huh. So. I'm gonna, going to use these two molds that I've drawn that are sort of complementary. There's the dots and the, the swirls, and use that against some of the metal clay. And you always want to keep your metal clay wrapped tightly wrapped so up, that it doesn't yes. get any air. You don't want it to dry out. Mm -hmm. and so I'll set that aside. Mm -hmm. And you also are working on a craft mat here, it looks like. Yeah, and these mm -hmm. little sheets are Teflon that you can get at the uh, cooking store. Okay. And a little bit of hand balm. Some people like to use olive oil. Mm -hmm. um, and keeps it from a, sticking that's to That's right. may need a little bit on your tools, roller. too. Mm -hmm. And you want to roll this out uh, about a, between a millimeter and two millimeters thick. Mm -hmm. And also put some of that hand balm on the molds. So you're using that as a mold release? That's right. If you're mm -hmm. using the molds with polymer clay, you use water as your mold release. So you're really combining a lot of different techniques in this one piece. That's right. So I'm making a sandwich mm -hmm. and I'm going to roll fairly firmly. You don't want to thin it out so much that the metal is too thin and that it would break. Mm -hmm. But you do want but you only roll it once, right? That's right. If you mm -hmm. roll back and forth, you'll uh, the clay will shift and you'll get kind of a shadow. Mm -hmm. I do a lot of, of pieces with uh, text on them, and that's a problem because oh, then you get kind of a shadow yeah. behind the lettering. Right. So then I'm going to lay my, my pattern piece against there. Mm -hmm. And this piece is going to have a self bail. So I'm going to cut kind of on either side of that center line. Mm -hmm. and then cut that out. Mm -hmm. And with metal clay, we just always want to remember that it's going to shrink a little bit, right? That's right. So make Depending it on the bigger. formula of your clay, uh, the shrinkage is, in this particular uh, formula that I'm mm -hmm. using, it's between 10 and 15 percent. Okay. Um, so just be prepared. That's right. <laughs> it will come out smaller. Mm -hmm. And that's something that you would need to think about if there's a certain element that has to, that is a certain defined size right. and shape that you need. So I'm going to put this stuff back in the package. So but in this piece, you're out. really making a bezel that could fit any size. You, you're making it completely unique and it's also very customized because you can make a bezel in any size. Right. Shape. Because I don't have mm -hmm. an existing stone, I'm going to be using the polymer clay to make my own, mm -hmm. my own design. So this one has already been dried, right? That's right. That but one, not fired. Right. This one, because it's it's dry, you can finish it with a little sanding mm -hmm. and then either torch fire it or kiln fire it. Mm -hmm. And then you move on after that's ready to add the bezel. Mm -hmm. So I would use a piece of flat wire mm -hmm. and form it into a loop mm -hmm. and solder the seam. Mm -hmm. And then you can form 
refine the shape because that first loop is not very pretty. With your nifty tool here. That's right, a right angle mm -hmm. pliers. So refine that a little bit. And then this one's ready to go. Mm -hmm. And again, a little bit of easy paste solder inside the, the piece mm -hmm. and solder that. Mm -hmm. It'll have to be cleaned in pickle. Mm -hmm. And then this one has been oxidized with a liver of sulfur solution. Mm -hmm. And then after it's all polished up, It'll look like this. So you have your bezel ready to go. It's ready to go mm -hmm. and ready to fit my own polymer clay shape in there. Mm -hmm. And you're using the granite type of This polymer. is a new new color. And so you form, form that. Mm -hmm. And then the polymer clay doesn't get fired like the silver. The polymer mm -hmm. clay just gets baked in mm -hmm. a toaster oven or your home oven mm -hmm. at 275 degrees. Then after, after it's done, uh, the piece can be sanded and mm -hmm. buffed. And then you glue it. And then you glue it into the space. Okay. Well, let's take a look at the finished ones again. And these are just beautiful. You've used all different colors of polymer clay in the bezel settings that you mm -hmm. created. Different styles of technique. Great. Well, thank you so much, Patty.